Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Night Prayer for Holy Saturday, April the 23rd, 2011. Tonight we begin our Easter celebration. In place of the psalm, we'll have the Exultet, which is the traditional song of praise and joy for Easter. And the scripture reading is Isaiah chapter 4, verses 1 through 6. Dear friends in Christ, on this most holy night in which our Lord Jesus passed over from death to life, the Church invites her members dispersed throughout the world to gather in vigil and prayer, for this is the Passover of the Lord, in which by hearing his word and celebrating his sacraments, we share in his victory over death. Let us pray. O God, through your anointed, you have bestowed upon your people the brightness of your light. Sanctify this new fire, and grant that in this Paschal feast we may so burn with heavenly desires, that with pure minds we may attain to the festival of everlasting light. Through Jesus our Lord. Amen. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Rejoice, now, heavenly hosts and choirs of angels, and let your trumpets shout salvation for the victory of our mighty ruler. Rejoice and sing now, all the round earth, bright with a glorious splendor. For darkness has been vanquished by our eternal ruler. Rejoice and be glad now, Mother Church, and let your holy courts in radiant light Resound with the praises of your people. All you who stand near this mighty, marvelous, and holy flame, <clears throat> pray with me to God the Almighty for the grace to sing the worthy praise of this great light through Jesus our Lord, who lives and reigns in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. It is truly right and good, always and everywhere, with our whole heart and mind and voice, to praise you, the invisible, almighty, and eternal God, and your only begotten, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb, who at the feast of the Passover paid for us the debt of Adam's sin, and by his blood delivered your faithful people. This is the night when you brought our ancestors, the children of Israel, out of bondage into e in Egypt and led them through the Red Sea on the dry land. This is the night when all who believe in Christ are delivered from the gloom of sin and are restored to grace and holiness of life. This is the night when Christ broke the bonds of death and hell and rose victorious from the grave. How wonderful and beyond our knowing, O God, is your mercy and loving kindness to us, that to redeem a slave you gave a son. How holy is this night, when wickedness is put to flight and sin is washed away. It restores innocence to the fallen and joy to those who mourn. It casts out pride and hatred and brings peace and concord. How blessed is this night, when earth and heaven are joined, and humankind is reconciled to you. Holy God, accept our evening sacrifice, the offering of this candle in your honor, and may it shine continually to drive away all darkness. May Christ the morning star, who knows no setting, find it ever burning. He who gives light to all creation, and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
The lesson is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 4, beginning at verse 2. On that day, the branch of Yahweh shall be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of the land shall be the pride and the glory of the survivors of Israel. Whoever is left in Zion and remains in Jerusalem will be called holy. Everyone who has been recorded for life in Jerusalem, once the Lord has washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and cleansed the bloodstains of Jerusalem from its midst by a spirit of judgment and by a spirit of burning. Then Yahweh will create over the whole site of Mount Zion and over its places of assembly a cloud by day and smoke and the shining of a flaming fire by night. Indeed, over all the glory there will be a canopy. It will serve as a pavilion, a shade by day from the heat, and a refuge and a shelter from the storm and the rain. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands, O beloved God, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye and hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. O God of unchangeable power and eternal light, look favorably on your whole church, that wonderful and sacred mystery. By the effectual working of your providence, carry out in tranquility the plan of salvation. Let the whole world see and know that things which were cast down are being raised up, and things which had grown old are being made new, and that all things are being brought to their perfection by him through whom alone all things were made, your Son, Jesus our Savior. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and the Almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Queen of heaven, rejoice. Alleluia. For the son you merited to bear. Alleluia. Has risen as he said. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Happy Easter, everyone.